Ladies, I want to invite you to join me for a weekly Bible study time, Tuesday mornings at 9.30 a.m. We'll be learning from To Know Him by Name by Kay Arthur. When I felt God stirring in my heart to do this Bible study, <clears throat> this book came to mind. I couldn't have told you then why it came to mind, because it had been many, many years since I had read it. But when I read the intro, I knew that this was the right book for the time we're living in. So here. Let me read you an excerpt. <clears throat> My friend tells the story of something that happened while his dad was deer hunting in the wilds of Oregon. Cradling his rifle in the crook of his arm, his dad was following an old logging road, narrowly overgrown by the encroaching forest. It was early evening, and he was just thinking about returning to camp when a noise exploded in the brush nearby. Before he even had a chance to lift his rifle, a small blur of brown and white came shooting up the road straight for him. My friend laughs as he tells the story. It all happened so fast, Dad hardly had time to think. He looked down, and there was a little brown cottontail, utterly spent, crowded up against his legs between his boots. The little thing was trembling all over, but it just sat there and didn't budge. Now this was really strange. Wild animals are frightened of people. And it's not often that you'd ever actually see one, let alone have one come and sit at your feet. While Dad was puzzling over this, another player entered the scene. Down the road, maybe twenty yards away, a weasel burst out of the brush. When it saw my dad, and its intended prey, sitting at his feet, the predator froze in its track, its mouth panting, its eyes glowing red. It was then Dad understood that he had stepped into a life-and-death drama of the forest. The cottontail, exhausted by the chase, was only moments from death. Dad was its last hope of refuge. Forgetting its natural fear and caution, the little animal instinctively crowded up against him for protection from the sharp teeth of its relentless enemy. My friend's father did not disappoint. He raised his powerful rifle and deliberately shot into the ground just underneath the weasel. The animal seemed to leap almost straight into the air a couple of feet and then rocketed back into the forest as fast as its legs could move. For a while, the little rabbit didn't stir. It just sat there, huddled at the man's feet in the gathering twilight, while he spoke gently to it. Where did he go, little one? I don't think he'll be bothering you for a while. Looks like you're off the hook tonight. Soon, the rabbit hopped away from its protector into the forest. Where, beloved, do you run in time of need? Where do you run when the predators of trouble, worry, and fear pursue you? Where do you hide when your past pursues you like a relentless wolf seeking your destruction? <clears throat> Where do you seek protection when the weasels of temptation, corruption, and evil threaten to overtake you? Where do you turn when your energy is spent, when weakness saps you and you feel you cannot run away any longer? Do you turn to your protector, the one who stands with arms open wide, waiting for you to come, and huddle in the security of all he is. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. Proverbs 18.10 Is the Lord your great tower? Is his name your strong fortress in a time of weariness or attack or great distress? But how, you ask, could his name defend me? <clears throat> in biblical times, a name represents a person's character. God's name represents his attributes, his nature. His name is a statement of who he is, and he has many names. Each reveals something of his power and love and purpose towards you. The Father longs to have you know him better, that you might trust in the name of the Lord and rely on your God. Isaiah 50.10 <clears throat> It's almost ironic that after having selected this book to study, Savannah and I rescued a little cottontail out of our garden. And this little baby cottontail, who Savannah has named Heartbeat, is completely reliant on us, not only for protection, but for everything else. And so maybe not ironic. Maybe it's God-timed. <clears throat> I hope you will join us Tuesday at 9.30 for more of To Know Him by Name as we learn how God and His names can get us through this difficult time.